How you going guys? Welcome to another episode of Night Watches Paranormal Australia. We are back here at the Old Gympie Station. Yes. This is where the Merry Valley Rattler starts from. So what we'd like to do guys is thank Mallory and the Rattler crew for allowing us to come back to this beautiful location. This time we're actually going inside. Yeah, definitely. So, so what do you think, mate? Should be good. We're going to have the static cameras going. They're actually going right now as we speak. We want you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with all your friends. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go for a bit of a walkthrough like we normally do and we're going to show you this place because it's looking really cool we really like how it looks man it's going to be pretty good tonight so let's go for a walk and check it out all right guys you have a look at some of the history about some of the local motors this place here is the actual cafe that they use so we're going to go inside and check it out and see what it's all about so this is where the this used to be way back when, where all the staff and everything used to dine in this kitchen area. So when that um, when they demolished it in 1913, they changed it to the cafe. Yeah, cool. how cool is that picture? I didn't even see that before. Yeah, I've got a nice photo of that to uh, show to you. Yeah, yeah, cool, great, yeah. We'll go down here to the actual um, part of the museum part. A lot of history in this, guys. That piano there, Mallory just told us that that is played, a volunteer plays that every weekend. Oh, it's good. It's a place that you guys should really come and check out. This is awesome history here. Yeah. We're going to put all the links up on the video, so be sure to check it out. This is basically the, like, the souvenir shop part of the part of the station, so. I could just see me on this on a train, train track, mate. <laughs> 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 and all the peg for putting the railway lines in. That's pretty cool, though. Eh? Yeah. We don't see that every day. So if you are in the Gimpy area, guys, come on in and check this place out. That's pretty cool. These are the things that used to switch tracks, then. Yes, manual switch. Yep. Well, one thing, look at this. Oh, look at this little ticket tape. Federated unit of locomotive engine men. September 16. 1924. Oh, oh. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let's go on back. Look at the old ticket tape. What would they? Oh, that's, that's a, a uh, what do you call it? Um, when they were doing their old oh, tel telegrams and yeah. stuff. You know? yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Station master. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. The old typewriter. Oh, here's the old phone. Amazing, eh? Back when they had to do it by hand, guys. Telegrams, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. To get it, see this? You got your railway to make it level. Yeah. I've never seen one of them yeah, before. Yeah, screw all the attachments to the rail, to the rail, so that way they keep it parallel and level. That is pretty cool. Look at the old lights around the other side. This front and lockers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. From the uniforms and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, some really old stuff here, guys. Some really, a lot of history. So the good thing about doing um, paranormal investigations in a place like this is you've got so many trigger objects right here at your fingertips. So, and the, the, the amount of energy that's attached to these artifacts is just phenomenal. So anyway, so this is the area that we're gonna be filming and um, investigating. So I don't know if you've seen the last video where we actually did out the front. If you haven't, go check that one out. All right guys. I'm heading upstairs to the office where it is a bit creepy and some activity has happened. I'm going to do my sensory deprivation up there. So you're yeah. going to follow us up. I'm going to do this in the dark, so it could be a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> so See how we go. We'll go up and set him up. Let's do it. All right, guys. Well, so basically, we had the pendulum and the uh, plasma ball with the globe set up here with the static camera on it but also shooting right down the, the uh, office 
if that's what you call it in, the office? Yeah. Yep. So, um, what we we're might setting it up now for the sensory deprivation session. Set him up. We're gonna we're gonna blindfold him and cut off his hearing. And he's only gonna hear. For any of you that haven't seen this before, this is a sensory deprivation session. So what it is is we cut off his sight and his sound, and all he's gonna be hearing is the headphones with the spirit box going through it. So we're gonna be asking questions downstairs, and if he comes up with any answers up here, because he won't be able to hear us, if his answers relate to the questions that we've asked, well then, great. So he's just going to set this up now, he's got that going. Yep. He's just getting the sweep rate going on that now, so he's got it sweeping in reverse and on the right channels. And he's going to be. Whoa, we've got a pretty mild voice already. Ready? Yep. Okay guys, so we've got Pete now set up for his uh, sensory deprivation session. He's upstairs and he's blindfolded, cans are on, ready to go. So I'm now asking for any presence that is here with us. If you come up and you speak to Pete upstairs and you speak to him into that little black box that's sitting on the table next to him. There's a little ball that he's got there. If you touch that little ball in front of him, it'll light up with some pretty colors. There's a few things you can do. There's also a pendulum there. If you touch that pendulum, you can make it sway, right? But we really want you to go up and talk to that little black box that's sitting next to him. And if you do that, he'll be able to hear what you're saying. And he'll say out loud what you've told him. So if you can answer my questions, that'd be much appreciated. We come in love, peace and respect. We're only here to communicate with you. So first of all, if you can start off by giving, giving us your name. If you can tell Pete your name upstairs in that room, tell him your name, please. Are you at peace? Are you at peace where you are right now? Real female voice. Did you used to work here? Were you one of the staff members or were you a train driver or were you somebody that was uh, involved in working at the station here? Do you know that you've passed on? Do you know that you're on the other side? My name is Dan and his name is Pete. Can you say one of our names, please? Can you say one of our names to Pete upstairs in that black box? Are you able to let Pete know you're there? Can you make a noise in that room? If so, please do it. Or touch that little ball that's in front of him. Speak into the black box. Or move that little pendulum that's there. Or touch him. Voice You're welcome to use minor Pete's energy, but please let us know you are here with us by touching Pete. Touch him on the shoulder, on the neck, somewhere, to let him know that you are with him. Do you know that we're here? Can you hear us? Can you see us? You don't need to be afraid of Pete. You just got to go out and speak to him or manipulate those objects that are around him. Now normally guys we have the K2 meter sitting in front of Pete's chest but at the moment we have that um, the plasma ball. Plasma ball, thanks Simon, that's it. The plasma ball sitting next to him and unfortunately the plasma ball sets this thing off big time so to get rid of that out of the equation I'm just I'm holding on to that. 
but normally he has that in front of him. But we're trying some different uh, experiments tonight to see how we go. But if you go out and touch that plasma ball, that ball that's got all the electricity stuff going on inside it, if you touch that, it'll make that light globe go out. Can you touch that globe, that, that plasma ball? If you're with us tonight right now, can you make a noise so we can hear you? Can you tap on a wall? Once again, we come in love, peace and respect. We mean no harm. We just want to communicate with you. If you are here, can you please let Pete know your name? Or can you give us a year, a year that you passed on? Or any sort of message at all? Anything that you want a loved one to know or a, a distant family member? Now's the time to speak and speak to Pete upstairs in that black box, that black radio next to you. If you speak into that, he'll be able to hear you. We know that there's a Mr. Priest. A Mr. Priest, if you're around, are you still here? Are you still on shift? We've heard reports that you've uh, been heard here and seen. We want to know if you're still here. Can you touch Pete? Let him know you're with us. Well, like something touch a table, I don't know. Well, touch that little ball in front of him. If you touch that ball, it will flash with different colours. None of this stuff will hurt you. All of our equipment is safe for you. And if you need any energy, you can feed the energy from that plasma ball. You can drain that dry, go for it. Pass, female voice. Pete's got some things coming through. I can sort of semi hear him upstairs yeah. a little bit. Just move any of those things in front of him. Touch the ball, move the pendulum, speak into the black box. Touch the plasma ball to make that globe go off. What, did, what was the illness that you had? Do you know the illness that you had? You only, you only had a couple of hours from when you found out that you were sick to the time you died. Do you miss your loved ones? Do you get to see them? I mean, you know, do you get to see any relatives on the other side? Do you get to be re reunited with the, your loved ones that were already passed on? What is the other side like? Ooh. Was it scary for you transitioning from life to death, from this side to the other side? Hey, ah, come in. Holy crap! Did you get any responses? Because I can't hear you down there. So that's me. Oof. Can you, when you sit here in this office, can you feel like people walking up here? Yep. Through the chair? Well, that was weird. It was something vibrating, like a vibrating feel. Really? Man, it was really weird. Like yeah. I, I had to push away from the table because I felt something vibrating. I don't know if it was this or something was vibrating. It was really weird. Well, hopefully some of this went off because I was asking him to, or them, whoever, to touch the ball, move the pendulum, talk in the radio. Forgot you had that sitting there, but hopefully we got that. Alright guys, we're going to do our necrophonic session right now. We're going to go into the back room over here. We're going to check it out and see what we can get coming through. Like Dan said, with this thing, don't always trust apps because sometimes they say that they don't have built-in voices, but you never know. That's yeah. why we listen to Intelligent Response. Yeah. And we're also going to have uh, Catball. What else is in your pocket? That we're oh, we've got the K2, which you didn't get to use on the um, sensory deprivation session, like I said to you, is because of the uh, plasma ball. It activates it, so we're going to get to use it this time. Alright, so let's make our way down. Let's make our way in. I'm going to activate the K2 now, see if we get any swipes coming through. 
there is anybody with us right now, we mean you no know, harm, we come in love, peace and respect. We're just here to communicate. Also oh, guys, yeah. worth, while he's saying that guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and please share our content. Please like, talk to us, If you're up this way, make sure you get here and check this place out. It is fantastic. What is that? <laughs> Was that a phone? <laughs> I'm like, holy crap, is there something going on? What's going on? Anyway, guys, that was a phone, so don't worry about that. But uh, make sure you get up here to Old Gimby Station where the Mary, vale, uh, Mary Valley Rattler leaves from. It'd be a good experience for them, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I reckon it'd be great. It's something that I've always wanted to go on and check out. So yeah. come up here and check it out. This place is great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Old steam engine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay guys, what we're gonna do is the Necrophonic app. We have the K2 meter ready to go. And we're gonna have our little favorite toy here, the old uh, cat ball. Cat ball, so yeah. So we'll stick it up in here, because it's a nice rounded surface. So see if you can push it along that way. Yeah, yeah. So this is a bit I'll get this here. started if you wanna ask the first question, Dan. Okay, to any person that is here. If you are here, Mr. Priest, if you are still here, can you please come up and communicate with us right now? We wish, we wish you no harm. We come in love, peace and respect. All we want to do is talk to you. If you are here, if you come up and touch this device here, this little black one right here, some lights will come up and let us know that you are here with us. Or you can touch this little ball here, you can roll, roll it along the channel, or you can just touch it and it will light up. And you can speak into this device here, and you can answer our questions through that. So first question to you is, if you are here, any presence that is with us, can you please give us your name? Oh. Yeah. Like that, yep. But we'd love to hear your name. Once again, if you are here, you can come up and touch this device. If you touch this device right here, It'll light up some different colours and let us know. Oh, that's something. We said it'll light the light green flicker. The phone's too far away, guys. The phone's going to be right up on it. Can you touch this device for us? No, you get another, another green flicker. You get that? Can you take it up to the red? You can use my energy or Pete's energy, and you can take that right up to the red. Can you flicker that right up to the red? Come up and touch it again. Thank you. Oh, yeah. you got the yellow. Yeah. That's great. Whatever you're doing right now is great. You can use my energy. Come up and touch that device again. We appreciate everything you're doing for us right now. Thank and you. Again. Just so you know, guys, there's nothing under this table. The electrical, it's just a wooden table. Yeah. Okay. And these aren't connected either, guys. Yeah. So. No. It, was that you, Mr. Priest? To any spirits that are here, what year did you pass? Fridge day, fridge day. What is your name? Can you, can you please tell us your name? How many of us are standing here? How many living humans are standing in here right now? Can you make a noise for us? Oh, K2. K2, sorry. Can you touch this ball? Are there any old employees that used to work here that haven't moved on and are still here? We'd love to hear from you. Guys, every time we've had this cat ball go off, they've both gone off at the same time. Mm. That's why we have them sitting this close together. This can't set that off. This has to be physically touched. And like that this. can't set this off. Yeah, so that. That can't set, they can't set either of each other off. So, as you can see. Yeah, yeah, see that? Yeah, that has to be physically touched. Can you touch either one of these devices for us, please? 
Can you please touch that cat ball? Can you please touch that little ball? Put all your energy into it and just give it a good push. No. No? We come in love, peace and respect. We mean no harm. We just want to communicate with you. Do you, do you have a message that you'd like a loved one to know or the world to know? How many years have you been here? Use my energy or Pete's energy and take that right up to the red. We want a really big hit on that. Just to confirm you are here with us. Do you feel alone here? No. No. Where are we at the moment? What's the name of this place? K2. How many living people are in this room? Okay, we're going to move to a different spot. Well, we're hoping that we can get some more activity from you if you can. That was really good when we did touch this. Yeah. It's exactly what we want. We need that to go off though. Yeah, this would be, this would be great confirmation. So what we'll do guys, we're going to head down to... Alright, we're going to straight down the kitchen. Yeah, we're going to straight down the spirit box, guys. Yeah, we'll try the spirit box out. Yeah. Alright, guys, we're going to head into the kitchen now. We're going to do a um, bit of a session in here. We've got the uh, SB11, the K2, yeah. <laughs> the cat ball. I was, and do, I was doing something different. Yeah. We'll put that in up here. Yeah, probably put the music box at the entryway or something, or somewhere we have where. We're... Okay guys, what we're going to do right now, we're going to use the spirit box, the SB11. And we're actually going to try and communicate through that. We've tried the necrophonic out the front, now we're going to try the spirit box in the kitchen here. So, the kitchen area here has been known to have some activity happen. So, we're going to try and see if we can get it in here. So, we're going to leave the cat wall in. Yep. Okay, so we've got the cat wall here guys, so let's just so you know what you're looking for. We've got the cat wall here. We've got the um, plasma ball over there with the globe. So if something touches the plasma ball, that globe should go out or flicker, right? And uh, over there we've got the music box. So if something walks through the doorway, that'll trigger and you'll hear that go off. Or you'll see the red light go off anyway. Ooh. Okay, now we've got all that lock down says we've got all those devices set up. The first question I'd like to ask is to any entity or spirit that is here, you don't give off a very negative um, feel, which is a great thing for the staff here, but we would really love to, for you to make your presence known by either touching one of these devices or coming up to this spirit box here and telling us your name to begin with. Can you see us? Do you know that we're here with you? Oh! Okay, so straight off. Straight off. That was pretty cool. Oh, hitting the orange. Okay, good. We hit the orange. And it's not, it's not this device, guys. It's not his phone. Just give me that completely out of the way. It's not his phone. It's not that. They're the only two devices that are electrical there. The way you touched that device was brilliant. Can you come and do that again, please? Can you come and touch that device again? I really want you to touch this one, though. Yeah. This one here, or one of these ones. I can't. You guys can see that Yeah, one. I'm watching it. You can? Yeah, I'm watching it. Can you come through and give us your name, please? We'd like to be able to talk to you. Do you like the fact that we're here trying to communicate?
shut out the whole thing. Just shut out the whole thing. Just shut out the whole thing. Well, it's not really. It's not really. It's not really. It's not really. Can you come through and talk to us on this device? Touch this ball here. We'll touch that device there. It'll let us know that you're here. We'd really love to talk to you. We do know that there is a lot of activity in this kitchen area. This used to be the old um, staff dining room. We do know that there is a lot of activity in this kitchen area. This used to be the old um, staff dining room. So if there are any staff members that are still here with us, we'd love for you to come and let us know. Tell us a story of how you passed. As long as it doesn't move. That's the thing it was. No, but I mean roll by Oh roll by Can you touch that little ball there please? Can you touch this ball here? Yeah. Yeah. Can you touch this ball there? Yeah. That would be a great confirmation that you are with us. My name is Dan, his name is Pete. Can you say one of our names in this device please? Well your name is. You've got to remember too guys, sometimes you're not going to get activity. See, the spirits aren't on back and forth. No. If they want to talk to us, they'll communicate with us or via one of these devices. If they don't, they don't. Yeah. So you still got to remember this is a beautiful place with yeah. an amazing amount of history. Yeah, yeah. When this line of work, there's no guarantee. Can you please touch one of those devices then? Or if you walk through that doorway, if you walk through this doorway over here, we'll be able to hear that device go off. It'll let us know that you're here. Use my energy and Pete's energy to touch that ball, please. None of this equipment will hurt you. If anything, it'll feed you. Let's try the temperature. Yeah. We'll put the temperature gauge on, guys, and we'll see if we get any fluctuations coming through. At the moment it's sitting in the green, it's sitting in the neutral spot on zero. What we're hoping for is it to go down or up. Can you come up with this device here and um, touch it or talk into it? I'm going to get my SLS. Ooh. What? Please. All right, we're getting a temperature fluctuation up already, one degree. It's starting to it's flicker into the one, and then very soon, if it keeps going, it sits sit on the one degree. Now, right, yeah. Now, right, yeah. So right now, guys, there's no wind or breeze in here, and the temperature is pretty steady. It's not hot, not cold. Is it sitting up one? Yeah, it's sitting yeah. on the one. Now it's sitting steady on the one. Can you please touch this ball with that device, Mr. Priest? If you are here, Mr. Priest, the assistant station master, can you let us know that you are with us by touching one of these devices, Mr. Priest? If you are here. Can you let us know by touching one of these devices here? Preferably that little ball in the middle there. Oh, we're going up again. Going up again. We're going up to plus the If you touch this ball, if you touch this ball over here, that light should go off. Or flicker. And it'll let us know that you're here. Just by doing this. Go up something in there. See how the light dims and flickers? Can you please touch that device? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that was a female voice that said something there. I didn't quite pick it up.
may I say what happened? Let us know, guys, too, if you, if you like this experiment. We saw this online and we had a subscriber tell us about it and we looked it up. The idea of the globe is it's a lot easier to see if anything touches it by that going off and looking for the, you know, those things to a bit. Or if you like the pendulum that we did too, let us know. Yeah. Was it, if, if there's a female here that came through to talk to us, can you let us know by kind of touching this ball here, the flick of that light. Can you touch that ball? Well, yeah, that's up another one. It's going up another degree, so that's plus, going up between plus two and plus three. I want to see that turn off. So the spirits here really try and concentrate and grab that whole ball. Try and make that light go off. Look at the, is that one step up? Look at the double over here. Yeah, yeah. It might be a double confirmation. We're going to put the uh, cap ball with it, guys, so that way if someone touches the big plasma ball, and that, oh, that, that yeah, that's pretty good. That was very long. Yeah. Can we see the nail there, sir? That's going up to plus three now. Plus three. It's yeah. flickering between two and three, guys. Can you please touch one of these balls here? If you are with us right now. Oh, that's getting pretty full on. Let's get out the chain, ready. Sit this way. It's not being set up that Can you see it like that? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Can you please touch one of these balls, please? I really want that piece, I uh, really want that cap ball cap to go off. Remember last time we were here in the last video, guys, that cap ball were outside here, just behind this wall here, yeah. at the front there, where um, Hut Hall 2 is, yeah. that activated a couple of times. So yeah. hopefully we can get some activity in here too. Like we said, just because nothing's happening now doesn't mean nothing is here. They don't, they don't beck it through our pool, you know, they don't just do what we want them to do. That's sitting on the screen, yeah. If they want to cooperate, they will. If they want to communicate, they will. If they don't, they'll just go fly, fly stagnant and be nothing. If you come up to this big ball with all this electricity stuff going on, that should feed you some energy. Because that is basically just electricity coming through that. And that's sitting on three plus, so three degrees. Sitting on three yeah. so. Can you touch this device here? This black one? You can see that button. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I heard that. You hear that? That was a female voice, I think. Really draw on our energy and really try and punch through with what you just said, please. We'd really appreciate it. Whoa, that's just a new battery. That's just drained all the power out of that. It's a brand new battery. Brand new battery. Brand new battery. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Did you... Uh, what the... That's pretty interesting. That doesn't normally happen. It's either drained the battery, guys, or... I only put a new battery in this today. Because I made sure I didn't want this to happen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at this system. Let's... I might turn that off. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Okay. That doesn't happen. So stand there, wave your arms about. It's going to show them how this thing works. If you look here, guys, it'll map P out. Move back a bit further, bro. Okay, anything with a humanoid sort of shape, it'll map them out. So you can see that. Probably turn that light off for a second. Yeah. Now you'll be able to see. Yeah. It maps him out, okay? So, anything with a humanoid shape, it'll map him out. While Dan's doing that, guys, we might... What do you reckon we move out into the middle in the dining room? Yeah. We might do a voice recording session. Yeah. Somebody there? Please show yourself again. Yeah, Something just mapped right in front of this table right here, yeah. right on the corner. Turn that right here? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's hard, man. Can you please show yourself again? See, nothing now. If it was something that it was mapping on that table. See that? Yes. What is that? 
It wasn't there, it was over here in the corner that it did it, now it just did something over there. Can you please show yourself again? Can you show yourself again? What is it mapping? There's nothing there now, but it just flicked up. Oh, oh. What do you catch? You could be just catching anything that sort of... Something's moving around this table, this uh, bench area, man. Oh, what's that? Can you come up again? Please show yourself again. Please show yourself. Anybody here? Just come and stand in front of this device I'm holding. We'll be able to see you in stick form. Yeah, see, when I first walked through that door just to have a look at that door, um, I saw something right in the corner of that. Can you please show yourself? Oh, here. Yeah. Look at that. Right Look. Something right here. What's it mapping there? Look, it's over there and here. Okay, I think what I know, I think I know it's mapping this here. Over there, that hat rack yep. might be resembling like some legs and arms to the to the software. Yeah. So it might be trying to, it might be mapping out. I'm trying to debunk things here. It could be something there, but at the moment, I think it's trying to. I think it sees that hat rack as a humanoid shape. I don't know how, but but something here. What's it, what's humanoid shape here? That could be like legs, a body, and arms there that it's seeing. I'm just trying to think of what the software is seeing. See there, like it's like a body, yeah. an arm going down, and some legs there. I don't know. If there's somebody here, can you please show yourself? Come stand out on the floor out here and just show yourself. That'd be great. There. Are you there? Can you please show yourself again? I'm not picking up that sanitizer stand, is it? Yeah, I think I might be picking up the sanitizer stand. Look, oh, no, it's to the left of that. Look, oh, now it's on yeah. there. I don't know, man. <laughs> if there's anybody here, can you please show yourself? Something standing on that stairs would be great. Can you come and stand on those stairs? If anybody's here, can you please stand on those stairs? I'm going to try something. Say we are. Yep. Shoot it towards me. I'm going to put this ball up the top. If you touch that ball, it'll flash. Do you like the ball? Can you roll it down the stairs for me? Can you roll that little ball down the stairs? Or can you touch it so it flashes? That would be amazing if you did it. See guys, the good thing about this too, if it flashes, we'll see. The good thing about this too is that the other times that it has gone off for us, it just goes to confirm that the ball isn't malfunctioning because it hasn't gone off at all tonight. When we touch it, it goes off. When we leave it, it's not. So, 
It's a good sign for the other times we've seen it happen. So, but can you please touch that ball for us? Keep it on me, dude. I'm just stay yeah. there. Keep it on me, dude. I'm gonna go and collect it. Cool. In case it goes off, we'll get it done. That's me. Okay. I thought we'd try that out anyway. Okay guys, what we're gonna do now is that uh, we're here in the main part of the building um, where the restaurant is, uh, like the cafe's just behind you. We've got the uh, main entrance there and the volunteer area is right up the very back. But this is the main cafe part. What we're gonna do here is a voice recording. We're gonna have the K2 meter and the cat ball going and we'll see if we can pick up anything. So Dan, if you wanna ask the first question once I get this up and running. Away you go. Okay. Now, we do know that there is some presence here with us. We do know that there are entities here that have made themselves known in the past. If you are here with us right now, we just ask for you to come up to us and either touch this device that's in my hand. If you touch this device in front of us here, you got the cap ball? Yep. If you touch this device here, or this little ball, that'll let us know you're here. But most of all, we want to know if you can talk to us in this little device here that's from in front of Pete. And you can answer our questions there. Firstly, Mr. Priest, if you are here with us right now, we call upon you to come forward and speak into this device that's down here. If you are here, please give us a yes or let us know that you are here. You know, Mr. Priest or any other of the spirits that have interacted with us tonight, I want to know if you're, how you're feeling. Are you sad? Do you know that you've passed on? To anybody else that is here, if you come up and speak into this device, can you please let us know if you're at peace? Are you at peace? How long have you been here? And do you need help to move on? Ooh, the there we go. Got a K2 movement. We're going to play this back and see if we've got anything recorded. Okay, guys, so we had no responses there from what we can hear. We had no responses there on the recorder. So. <clears throat> Whatever activity is here at the moment, right like tonight, isn't overly strong. I think it's just like little bits. Little bits. Gimpy Historic Station. Would you guys think 
Man, that was phenomenal. Like, such beautiful history here. It was just incredible. Yeah. Even though we didn't get much activity, though we did get bits and pieces, yeah. possibly on our next investigation when we come here to do a part two, hopefully we can, we just gotta wait and see what happens, but hopefully there'll be a part two here soon. Thanks Simon, our camera yeah. man tonight. Thanks, did a Simon. fantastic job no, for no, us. Yeah, awesome once job. again, thanks mate. Yeah. Yeah. No, look, um, yeah, what a great place. Yeah. The history in this place is incredible. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. So I think that the, uh, the, the evidence that we did get was minimal, but once again, we've got to go through the actual footage and check it out, which once again, you guys have already seen. Uh, we hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Like Pete said, we might be able to come back again for a part two. We'll see how that all pans out. So fingers crossed, everybody. But um, we want you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with all your mates. And once again, we'd like to thank all the team here at the Mary Valley Rattler crew. And this is place here. Mallory. Yeah, Mallory. And uh, yeah, so once again, come up here and check it out. The Kimpy Historical Station. Come up here, guys, and check it out. I think Gimby, it's really worth your while coming to check it out. Good for the kids. Yeah, for sure. So, anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. See you guys.